My dad got very excited because he thinks my frog looks like this biscuit. I mean, he kind of do, though. Help me, I am trapped in a haiku factory. Save me before they... I got your message. I have snuck my way inside. Oh my god, what the- It's very difficult to create realistic timelines in your story when you're struggling to figure out how long a week usually is. Yeah! My psych teacher has a poster in her room that says, Every time you call your boyfriend, Daddy. Sigmund Freud's ghost grows a little bit stronger. And if that isn't threatening, then I don't know what is. Hey, sometimes I write that in my text so people read it like a pirate. Well played, Gladium. Well played. I know some naughty words that'll really knock your socks off. But I'm not wearing socks. Well then I know some caring words that'll put socks on you. <gasps> oh my god. Documented cases of feral children. Raised by primates, raised by wolves, raised by dogs, raised by bears, raised by sheep, raised by cattle, raised by goats, raised by ostriches, Raised by the French. Watch out for that one over there. He's that homeboy. You've heard about mom friend and dad friend. Now get ready for grandpa friend, trademark. Almost always grumpy. Bad at showing affection, but cares about their friends a lot. What did you say? Sorry, I didn't hear that. Can you repeat it? Often reminisces about their youth, even though they're probably only in their 20s. Alternatively, kids these days. Too old for this shit. See above. Totally not down with the youth. Bad back and everything else hurts too. And likes to complain. Listen. You had no right to call me out like this. I didn't want to be the grandparent friend. I don't think Andy wanted to be the grandparent friend. I don't even think any of our friends wanted to be the grandparent friend. But here we are. What? Sure, he's a little rusty around the edges. But old Patrick is a classic showstopper like me. <laughs> huh? oh, kill it! Kill it! A gender. Did you mean a gender? No, that is the opposite of what I wanted. Um, just so you know, JFC, which you use in a lot of the tags in your posts, is an abbreviation for Jesus fucking Christ. And you probably shouldn't use it if you're not a Christian. I can't believe I read this with my own two eyes. You ever just submit something thinking, fuck it, I don't care anymore. But then five seconds later, you realize you actually care very, very much and are seized by gripping anxiety. Yeah! I've got a date with destiny and it ain't gonna end with a kiss. It's such a raw quote. And I cannot believe it came from a Phineas and Ferb episode about hunting a giant metal whale with harpoons made of toilet plungers. As a procrastinating overachiever, I feel like I don't necessarily half-ass things. It's more like a three-quarter ass. Like overall, did I do pretty well? Yeah. Did I reach my maximum potential though? I think the fuck not. I like the little map on DoorDash because you can watch your delivery driver completely miss your address in real time. Daniel, you're going in the completely wrong direction. Let me help you, Daniel. Daniel, I'm hungry. I'm opening my mouth like a baby bird, Daniel. Daniel, why? Andy, we have to help them. Uh, bring Daniel to their house now, quickly, before they die. Today I learned the reason why we view Neanderthals as hunched over and degenerate is that the first skeleton to be found was arthritic. Way to fuck it up for your whole species, you fucking idiots. Hey, it's Hershey. We already got our first exciting fan letter. Let's see what it says. It's from Forrest. You suggested that we should delete our account on July 17, 2021. Well, Forrest, I have a suggestion for you. On July 17, 2021, I suggest you start running. What? Oh, God. <laughs> Forrest, run! Answering gender questions from himbos on Tinder is my favorite pastime. And with you being non-binary, say you're going to go to jail. Can you now pick it, you go to the men's or women's, or is it just more like a co-ed situation? That's a fair question, Josh, and the simple answer is, no jail can hold me. We're just limitless like that. Seriously though, like, I miss the boat on this whole radical honesty thing. I guess everyone now wants to be true to themselves now. I mean, that's great, but like... You're really ever going to meet a select few people you can totally be honest with about anything. 
lie to strangers, lie to authorities. Like, damn, didn't you have parents that told you never to tell people on the phone that you were home alone? When the interview asks if you ever experimented with drugs, you say no. This is not a therapy session. He's got no business asking you that anyway. Lots and lots of people are not entitled to your vulnerability. I follow my grandmother's rule. It's only a lie if they have a right to know. Right there. It's only a lie if they have a right to know. Guys, guys. Hershey. Hershey's been... Killed! Oh my god. Forrest, what did you do? <laughs>